finally here. I was suspecting you. Howdy, and welcome back to the Texas Bucket List. Back in 2013, we took you down to Corpus Christi to visit the USS Lexington. This amazing aircraft carrier built in the early 40s is a true marvel to explore. So when we found out they added something very interesting to the ship, we decided it was time to check it twice. Most of us naval aviators have a big attachment to the ship you did your first landings on, and Lexington was the home for most of us. On the very first season of the Texas Bucket List, we met Rocco Montesano, the executive director of the USS Lexington. The former Navy pilot served for 27 years and worked on the Blue Ghost for 20. In 2018, the man who loved this ship set sail for the sea and the sky, but his inspiration lives on. Lots of times you can't drag your kid to go see, let's go see a historical monument. So we have to make ourselves more of an attraction, a fun place. He's a mentor of mine, a friend, and uh, just an incredible guy. We miss him dearly. Steve Banta now fills the sizable shoes Rocco left behind. Fortunately, the former Navy captain is holding the ship steady by continuing the mission. We are always looking for ways to make this place relevant. It's important for us to preserve the history of the USS Lexington and to share that with uh, all of our guests. While the mighty Lex is mighty impressive, the crew needed to take it up a notch. So they added an escape room to give brave visitors an escape from reality. It's the only one that's on a historic aircraft carrier in the entire world. The idea of trying to escape from an actual World War II aircraft carrier seemed to me very cool. Rodolfo Magnus is the technical advisor on the ship, and he was locked into the idea of adding this engaging expansion. When I approached them in the beginning, it was, oh, you're crazy. Uh, it's not happening. Were you a firm believer right away when you came to this idea? Were you like, come I was on. a little skeptical just because I wasn't sure it was brand new for us, but the fact is uh, he has been very successful in his ideas with us in the past and it was something where it would take up three compartments on the ship and it was a worthwhile experiment. So this is the entrance to the escape room area. Locked down on the Lex, we have our first mission, Beat the Blast. You can see uh, some of this graffiti with a guy stowed away on board the ship. He's okay. got a nuclear bomb and you've got to defuse it. No, that's not nerve wracking at all. If you've never been in an escape room, the basic concept is you must use clues in the room to advance to the next room and eventually escape. Some can be extremely detailed. And without a doubt, this escape room has an all too real feeling and deals with subject matter that actually pertains to the ship's history. This ship was actually, its last operational mission was in the Cuban Missile Crisis, 1962. Wow. So the basic story is there's a guy, his dad was disgraced, a Russian guy disgraced by the Cuban Missile Crisis. They did not get what they wanted. This son grew up knowing that he's bitter about the Lexington. And so he has stowed away on board the ship, smuggled in a nuclear bomb, and he's allowed you to have one chance to help and solve it so that you can uh, save the day. I think it was a brilliant idea to tie the escape room story to the actual history of the ship. How neat is it to be able to have an escape room that's based on actual history that this ship was part of? You know, this is one of the things that we love because we, we love sharing the history of this amazing ship. But there are people who maybe aren't into museums and history, but they're into these kind of games. And so we got this whole new demographic that comes on board. I've been in escape rooms before, and usually you can kind of tell where the points that you need to look at are. But in this room, it's massive. I don't know what's part of the ship and what's part of the game. So anything, you know, sky's the limit, right? So when the, when the timer goes off and you start, you hope that the team will work together by separating and finding things and telling each other what they're finding. Because if you find something here and I find something there, they go together. And if we're not communicating, you're not going to make it out. Gosh, especially at this magnitude. This is huge. Subsequent rooms, you also get more and more into a, a Navy historical aspect where you will operate real naval equipment that sailors used on board this ship. Radar scope, communications gear. It might help to know Morse code. It's a unique opportunity to interact with real World War II equipment inside of a real World War II aircraft carrier. This is as far as we can take you. But if you do manage to make your way through this escape room, you'll never believe what you'll find on the other side of this door. And all my life I wanted to have like a big countdown clock 
Over a bump. Well, now we have it. <laughs> <laughs> we were not allowed to see that, sir. <laughs> no, you were not. <laughs> you have to experience and solve the puzzles, find the bump, and you will get to see it. Finally get and to you, see it. You better disable it before it, it counts to zero. We're not going to show it unless you have passed the test to get through the other two rooms. It's uh, quite fascinating when you get in there and you have to actually do the final mission. Now, these escape room excursions usually take about an hour. But the fastest time ever? The fastest time that pulled it off actually was a team of about eight Boy Scouts. They were amazing. So if you're into history, teamwork, and unique adventures, it's all hands on deck to experience the escape rooms of the USS Lexington on the Texas bucket list. This ship, I mean, it's an icon for the local area. You can have a lot of fun aboard this magnificent piece of a U.S. history. Come for the fun of it and you know we're gonna slip some education and history in while you're here.